My name is Kevin Nim, CPA, and my company name is like Kevin Nim, CPA LLC. <laughs> How did you know that this is what you wanted to do? Oh, uh, because uh, you know, my undergraduate background, like my uh, undergraduate background, electrical engineering. So somehow I'm very much interested in kind of business side. So that when I start working Samsung long time ago in Samsung Korea, right? I just got into Samsung trading, even though I got the electrical engineering uh, degrees, but I somehow get into Samsung trading, which is nothing to do with the like, engineering side, right? So, you know, from the get go, I just wanted to get into some kind of business areas. I try to, you know, get some kind of knowledge in that areas, right? You know, there's always, always some kind of limitation. So I just want to make it into, you know, more serious commitment and uh, later on, they come to US and uh, apply for a business school. So I got the whole, you know, some kind of MBA, right? So that I sort of interested in accounting, finance, and taxation, particularly business valuation, right? So I just got into start, you know, my business that way. Who is your ideal client? Oh, uh, my idea, I think, uh, you know, if you wanna to practice a CPA, then at the beginning, right, you you need to uh, bring up as much clients as possible, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of part of your living, right? You have to <laughs> live on some sort of you know giving you know providing services, right? So eventually, I, I, you know, at the beginning, you have to bring like, a lot of your customer, regardless of size, character, whatever, right? But eventually, you will see. And, uh, you know, in my case, right, I just find it, you know, ideal customer is like, uh, you know, those young entrepreneurs, right? They have like a lot of passions and uh, they start business like a, with, a, with a big vision to make a growing, right? So in that kind of groups of, you know, the people, right, I can, I can give a lot of like advice, business advice, right? How to make it growing, what kind of things that, you know, they have to prepare. To make the you know, company growing so that in my ideal customer is like a young entrepreneurs like a 30 mid 30s like early 40s i have like a you know a lot of customer in that groups what has been the biggest challenge you faced regarding your company oh yeah i think uh at the beginning i think the biggest challenge is uh is that you know how to bring your customer right i think uh you know i used to be working cfo in a private company i used to be working public you know early 2000 almost like five years right and back to private i used to be working as a controller and the cfo almost like 13 years right and as you know that the every two weeks right there's payroll you get paid right so once you're getting out of the company right i uh, decide to stop in you know practice right all of a sudden your income is going to be zero right <laughs> So that you have to bring some customer, right? Most challenging is that it's, it's not easy to bring in the, you know, a new customer, right? So that that's, a, I think, it's the most like, challenging is, right? So um, the way I try to come up with is that the, I have like a lot of like, uh, you know, free times because, uh, you know, there's no, almost no customer, right? So there's a select of time, but I start preparing some kind of, uh, you know, like an intensive contact with potential clients, right? So that the, I just participate in the local business organization. At the same time, I try to make some kind of seminars and the kind of trainings. So that, you know, year, the 2019, year 2019 is the first year I just, uh, you know, start my practicing CPA, right? So that the, uh, one thing I did is that I just uh, proposed to, uh, you know, providing kind of online QuickBook service, you know, you know, the QuickBook program, right? Yes. So online QuickBook service, uh, QuickBook training, by the way, so that the, I just made, I was in contact with a Korean community center, you know, the KCC. Mm -hmm. So that I just uh, contacted with them and I, can, I think I can provide like uh, those kind of online, online QuickBook, QuickBook training services, right? So that I was in contact with a lot of people. At the same time, I just did a lot of like tech seminars. So preparing you know, all the tech seminars takes a lot of time, but I start you know start providing you know tech seminar. So you know getting into some kind of contact, and uh, you know I just have uh, aff affiliate with uh, like a local business organizations, right? For example, like a Korean American New Jersey, like New Jersey Korean, Korean American Business Association, 
and the forty original chamber of commerce. Mm -hmm. you, you are also you know talking about right? So I just you know throw myself into that kind of organization, take a law and meeting people, so that the, I think it's, you know biggest challenge was like uh, there's no customer, but at the same time I try to get over that kind of challenge by actively you know moving into and uh, you know giving some kind of service for the communities. What is your favorite aspect about your company that distinguishes you from others in the same industry or in a general sense? Yeah, I think uh, maybe a single biggest, uh, you know, maybe forte or some kind of advantage in my form has over other CPA form is that I'm not typical CPA. Typical CPA means like uh, you, you simply graduate from accounting degrees, right? Uh, with degree and apply for, you know, CPA exam and the pass it, uh, you know, and uh, you got the license, right? So, you know, right after that, simply giving some kind of, you know, accounting services, either, you know, tax services, right? That kind of CPAs, they don't have like much in-depth, like a operational experience, which means like a operation means like a, you work in a company, either working as accounting manager or assistant accounting manager or controller or CFO, right? Once you have the business operation, there's tons of issues not simply accounting, finance, taxes, but at the same time, there's all operational issue. You know, either customer or internally, like either HR, or, you know, all you know, all the claims, whatever, right? So many operational issue. So I spent over 13 years as a CFO and a controller, you know, you know, size of a company, our, our company, you know, the revenue is more, more than hundred, you know, hundred fifty million dollars, right? So then I have like. A, Really, really good, you know, operational experience, experience, right? So I think that's good, good forte because uh, I know very much in detail how the actual business is going on. Versus like a uh, regular like CPA, they don't have that kind of, you know, experience, right? So in terms of quality of service, right, I can make a big difference from the regular, you know, majority of CPAs. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Last question. Hardest question. What is your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color is my, my, my favorite color is of blue. So, uh, violet. <laughs> violet is, uh, yeah, I think violet blue. But, yeah, violet, I, I, I don't know, you know, the color of violet, it was like a color of Roman Emperor. Right? So, but, I like blue. I think it, 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 it used to be working Samsung. So I like Samsung yeah, yeah, a lot, and the Samsung color is somehow, somehow, you know, first color I just got into the company, right? Is 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 blue, and the blue means like uh, there's always some sort of like hopes and uh, very young, whatever, you know. So I like uh, you know my 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 color, you know, blue is my you know favorite color.